Hello, my young Jedi Padawan. How you going? Yeah, I know I look like a weirdo. Maybe because I am a weirdo. But, you know, we're talking about geology here. So, uh, get rid of my mug. So here we have a, probably a basic geological map of uh, surface features on, on Australia. So if you cut down, you're going to get into different geology. Probably the cratons will be a little bit different. No, they're probably just granitoids. Although I've never actually looked them up, really. Probably have in the past. So I'm just interested in what people would like to uh, know. So I prefer to do Australian geology, but if someone wants to, you know, just chuck up a, a region over the world, I could probably pick up some information about that region. No, Africa doesn't matter wherever because if uh, okay we've got a, a good website it's okay microstat geology so we can go to this website get up the geological map and da, 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 da. so yeah so if we go to africa someone wants to know something about a region in africa I can get the basic information here. So obviously we've got an age. So 1 billion to 600 million years. And that's what? Volcanic sediment. Okay. Yeah, that's the rift zone. Uh, quaternary. Okay. So, and then I can use the actual reference to actually bring up and it should be, give me a lot better information because this is well africa it's not giving me oh, it gives uh the actual type of uh fauna that's there as well okay so yeah if we go to india is that the deacon traps yeah flood basalts yeah deacon traps so there you go that gives you the name of the actual formation and uh, this one doesn't have a name. Oh, yes, it does. Well, no, metamorphic rock, but obviously the formation. This should all be sedimentary because it's around the follows river Ganges. Okay, so obviously, you know, you just pick up basic information and then from there you can use the maps uh, to get a and also you can use the name, they say, Nanling Mountain. So I can look up Nanling Mountain Geology. Then you can get information from that. Uh, there's a lot of American YouTubers. A lot of people go to Japan, so maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do some on Japan as well. So, yeah. How about... So we've got Indonesia. So here we have Australia. Look at the Cratons. This is the... Uh, which Craton is that? That is... Uh, Yugan Craton. Keep on forgetting them. Okay, so Igneous Mafic Volcanics. Um, and in mine, Ultramafic. So, Mafic, saying it's a. Uh, not granite. Oh, okay, so here you go, you got the cover. Yeah, sand gravel. Does it have a name? Yeah. Wildinmura Igneous Complex. So that's what we're looking for. So then we can just look up that name of the formation. Okay. Another place I like to do is this. This is a limestone coast, Nullarbor limestone. So 15 to 3 million years. I definitely will look that up. Got a few fossils. I want to find out what the fossil fauna is actually like there. And Maybe make some information on why that is the way it is. Okay. The Great Australian Bite. That's it there. But you've got another a bite there, which obviously someone's put their teeth in, just taking the surface off. You know, like, like an Oriole. Uh, they just left the, the biscuit. So then we've got other formations. Here we have... Uh, I don't know. Port site. So then we've got Uluru. 
So obviously you can see on all this here on this side, so most of New South Wales and Victoria is post Cambrian. There is Cambrian rocks, it's called the Green Stone Belt. So this is interesting, the Cowbell Baffleif. So here's the Greenstone Belt. Obviously, no, it's in between here. So pretty much Heathcote. That that's the Greenstone Belt, obviously. Yeah, I need to go to geological map to get better information on that. So on this side's Ordovician, this side's Silurian. Here we have beach deposits, so this is all sandstone, which is very interesting. And here we have a thrust fault, so the Cambrian rock's been thrust over the Silurian. Um, so that's also very interesting, and the Silurian here is pretty much missing. Then you've got Baffleliffs, so here's another one, so this one is the hard court. This is, this is called the Cacaobal root, Baffleliff. Uh, but it's got three different formations. So you've got the Bainton, Bainton. You've got the Pylong, which is the granite. So that's what first intruded. Then that was intruded by the Bainton Granodiorite. Then afterwards, the Belvalet Granodiorite was intruded over top and it's flowed over top. You've got some, uh, I think, Rhyolite here. Obviously, it doesn't show on this. Uh, but it's all farmland, so you can't actually access the actual royal oak. But I will drive around here, and we'll have a look at the actual granodiorite. The actual cross-section of this is very interesting as well. Okay, another thing I'm interested in is, uh, I've done another video, this region. So this is the, oh, 6.30, I've got to go. This is the Melbourne <coughs> um, Port Phillip Sunklands. And here we have the Western Port Sunklands, so areas that have uh, been down faulted. So you've got the Rosalie Fault there, you've got the Selwyn. So they have two major faults, you've got other faults over here. So anyway, that is what I like to look up. But if someone else wants to, you know, me do a video, I don't know, maybe New Zealand, maybe, I don't know, do one on Fiji, you know. Okay, it's not going to give you any information on Fiji. Uh, you can go to your Americas. So when someone says they're American, they go, oh, are you from Panama? Maybe you're from Paraguay. What's that? That's sedimentary rock. So that's the Chaco region. Chacos. I think, is that 1920s or 30s? I can't remember the date where Bolivia and Paraguay had a war over this region. Obviously, Paraguay won most of it. I think Bolivia got some of it. And what is it? 1865 to 70, Paraguay had the war, the Triple Alliance. So it went to war with Brazil, Argentina, and uh, Uruguay at the same time. Gee. They were, and they lost this region, they lost that region, they lost that region. But Obviously, they wanted a buffer state. That's why Paraguay still exists. Uh, and, yeah, very interesting. Then you've got the Andes. So this should be a lot of uh, andesite volcanics. That's where the name Andes comes from, obviously. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to look up the mountain ranges. So as you can see, it's complicated. This, this area is quite dry. Anyway, I hope this helps you with uh, your geology. So, hmm, okay. And you can find lots of content on the internet. Okay, thank you and goodbye.